I will tackle a classic question on rolling motion. I have a billiard ball of radius r on a rough surface with friction coefficient mu. We consider the static and the kinetic friction coefficient to be the same. It is struck by a q for a very brief period in such a way that the line of force passes right through the center, imparting it an initial speed of v0. The questions are a. What sort of a weird motion would the ball get? b. What would be the linear and the angular speed of the ball when it finally begins pure roll? And c. How much time before it begins pure roll? I will begin with the first one. The Q imparts an initial speed v0, but does it impart a spin? To impart a spin, we need a torque relative to the center. And since the force is directed along the center, the Q doesn't produce any torque, so the initial spin is zero. That means initially the ball just starts sliding with the speed v0. But as the ball starts sliding, kinetic friction starts applying brakes, producing heat, or in our case, these deadly sparks, and speed starts reducing. But do you know what else it does? Look, it's producing a clockwise torque relative to the center, and that starts imparting a clockwise spin. So the ball starts rolling. Since the rolling has just begun, it is still not pure. There is still a lot of sliding going on, and so friction will keep producing more and more spin until finally it gets just the right angular speed that it goes into a pure roll, when the point of contact will always be at rest relative to the table, and then friction disappears. Since now the friction is gone, there is no more opposition, so the ball will continue with this pure roll forever and ever and ever. Now we have the complete picture. First, the ball just slides, then kinetic friction decelerates it and starts making it roll. Finally, when it achieves pure roll, friction disappears and the ball continues forever and ever and more. Now time to answer question B and C. I will take right as positive and clockwise as positive. First, initial conditions. We will start with what we know. The initial speed, initial angular speed, and friction. Next, during the transition of the sliding and rolling, we have accelerations. For linear, we use the famous F equals ma. Notice the minus sign representing the deceleration. And for angular, tau equals i alpha. Notice that the torque is clockwise, making angular acceleration positive. Finally, once it goes into pure roll, let the final speed be v, final angular speed be omega, the time taken be t, and also remember for pure roll, v must be equal to r omega. Setting up equations for linear motion and angular motion, substituting, doing some algebra and some more algebra voila we finally get what we needed by substituting some typical values we get the final speed during the pure roll to be 5 meters per second making about 26 and a half rotations per second, and the time to achieve this would be about one second. So let's look at it again now with numbers.